Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne, happy Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release of Build... Ah, ah. <laughs> Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne, happy Tuesday. Break from cars today, we're going to be doing the next five stages of the fan home release of Build the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet. So stages 7 to 11 we're going to be doing today and if you want a reminder of how this thing's looking compared to my wrist there's what we've created so far check that out it's ginormous and I've obviously got some other pieces that we've been working on over there obviously to turn these on and off you just push the crystal and they uh, do that today we've got quite a few metal pieces again I think we might be starting on the fingers haven't sure haven't actually looked at this myself yet if you want to get this for yourself though and you do like what you see I have put a link in the video description you can get this all the way from pack one but without further ado let's get cracking so it's all going to start with stage seven here this is the magazine now each stage does have its own magazine so I'll flick through that so you can see what it looks like and it looks like we're doing the palm of the gauntlet three so this is the third part of the palm we've only got two parts to put together in this one so basically we're putting this on here and screwing it in that's all we're going to be doing as you can see just shows us what parts we're working on and then the magazine does continue after this so this is going to be quick uh okay so this is what it looks like let's get it open and see what these parts are again all of these parts are metal this is going to be one heavy gauntlet this is what the parts look like check that out <laughs> i've got two of those parts here but this part we don't actually need at the moment so i'm going to put that to one side and bring over what we worked on last time which was this massive palm section here and the bit that we've just got as you can see it has got an indent for this to go it's just going to go in here so line it up and get that pushed in just like that it does hold itself in look but we are going to have to screw this in with two of the screws that come in this pack I have just put this in some oil and get these in I am using my ph1 screwdriver today these are quite chunky screws so uh, it's going to love this screwdriver bit of oil screw that side in as well nice and tight and there you go that's all there is to do in that stage. Leads us swiftly on to stage eight. Again, this is the magazine here. Just go through it. And again, we're up to number four now of the palm of the gauntlet. Two parts again here. Looks like we're adding this part to uh, the palm that we've just been working on from the last pack. And then adding again some more details to that lots of screws to put in by the look of it so by the end we are making our way for this palm i will flick through just to the end of the magazine so you can see what else it's featuring on here let's do this so this is stage eight in here again another couple of sections here again they're all metal looking like that we do have some screws again so we need to take this part that we've got from this section and the pack we've been working on before you can see the indent that this is going to go in because this it's just fitting on this side just here like that once again it's going to be held in with one of the screws that come in this pack and these screws are exactly the same as what we've just been working on on the other pack the piece that i'm putting in does have a stamp on it it does say a97 all of these pieces are stamped so like the big palm section is a93 there and now we just want to take a98 stamps like that that's going to go on the same side of what we just done but on these two pegs here this way round so it's going to go on just like that held in with two of the screws that we get in this pack i do think all of these screws definitely are exactly the same you'll have to let me know but have we actually used a different screw on this build so far it's very convenient if the whole build is going to be the same screw <laughs> nice and tight so that's not going to move the last part we want to put in is a95 this is what we had in the last pack probably best on the top camera it's going to go over all these points here so i'm just going to line it up and get it all into position so that they're all located 
and I've got four of these screws to put in to hold this into place. Now I'll be honest with you, I am going rough with the hammer on this because it does need a good whack to get everything lined up. This is what I'm using. I feel like the armourer in the Mandalorian <laughs> beating this to submission. One more screw, just this one down the front here. And get that nice and tight. So that looks like that. That's brilliant. Now listen, don't be afraid to give that a good whack. You are going to have to whack this into shape to get that in there. Didn't take long though. And as you can see, perfectly seated. In stage nine, again, let's look through the magazine. Flicking through. We're going to be doing the back of the gauntlet now. So we've got one piece here. We're going to be attaching this to the front section that we've been doing and then screwing this in from this side. So that is now going to look like that. Again, I will continue flicking through the magazine. Let's do this. So once again, the screws on this are exactly the same as what we've been working on. But I'm going to be taking the front section here, turning it over. Okay, so we now need A34. That looks just like that, probably best on the side camera, actually. Now this has got one, two, three points that this can connect to which are these three here one two and I believe three down the bottom there actually it's these three here we're going to put that in this is going to be a little bit tricky lining up the top one first and then I will line the bottom ones up make sure they're all seated correctly once again these are going to be held in with three of these black screws again you will have to beat this part into submission by just having some of these screws quite loose and then tighten them up as you're positioning all three of these points on but now i'm just going to tighten every screw up here it's not as easy to put on as you think it is it took a while of banging rearranging and getting that on but as you can see <laughs> that looks brilliant love that So that leads us to the penultimate stage, uh, stage 10, the Tesseract there about the movie. Uh, it looks like we've got another detail on the back of the gauntlet to put in. So we're going to be removing the middle stone, putting this detail in, and then I think we get to put that stone back on. I mean, this middle stone, just so you know, is only held on with magnets. You see, you can take it out, so that's not a problem. Flick through the rest of the magazine, and that's all we're going to be doing in that stage. So pack 10 just comes in this smaller pack here again every time you see this bronze material here this is all metal there's no plastic in this and again some screws so let's bring over the front of the gauntlet and just do what i just said i'm going to take out that middle stone because this which has got four lugs is just going to go into this point here so just line everything up slips in just like that held in from the other side with these screws we need four of them So I'll get all four of these in. This is the last one going in there, nice and tight. So that's that detail on there, which means now I can put the stone back in, put the stone back in, as you can see, still works perfectly. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in the last stage of this pack, this is stage 11, as you can see here, this is the magazine and we're going to be doing the thumb we're going to be working on the thumb here now what's quite interesting about this actually there's not too many things to actually put together here it's just these two bits here again all metal i'll show you through the magazine there you go um what's really interesting is they've sent me some batteries so i'm guessing if you are missing some batteries before or you might need these for a future we do have some batteries i did buy some so i don't actually need them but uh it is handy if you uh, are short sure that you do get some in this one as well. So let's finish this pack. Now, let me just show you what we've got here. We've got the first piece of the thumb, which is metal, but there's an internal piece, which I'm guessing is going to enable this to move and enable you to put your actual hand in here as well. And that's these two sections here. Now, these two sections are plastic. So I'm just going to link them together how they're meant to go. They just clip together like that. 
This time we do have a different screw. We've got these silver screws here. Let's get them open. You can tell they're different because if you look at the threads, they're spaced out. Probably better like that. Every time you see a thread based, spaced out like that, no matter what build, if we're building cars, anything, that means it's a plastic screw. If you've got tight threads, it means it's a metal screw. So again, I'm just gonna put this together. And in this hole, just down here, I'm gonna be putting one of these screws. That's nice and tight. You don't want to over tighten it going into plastic, but that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. So if I just put everything here, what we've been working on. So we've worked on that there. We haven't seen this for a while, but this is uh, the time stone there. We have been working on the detail of this section, looking like that. And then finally on the back section here, that looks just like that, which we've added to the side. Can I put these together? We're not meant to, but you know me, I'm gonna have a damn good go. <laughs> that has so got to be the fun now, hasn't it? <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> I always do this because it's a good comparison with my head. And you know, my head is now a unit of measurement, but uh, pretty cool. That's how it's gonna go. What do you think of that? Not a lot to do. I guarantee, I, got, I, I, I hear everything you're saying. There's not a lot to do at all. I do like how there is metal in every single stage though. Uh, and the weight of this, I, I really don't know how much this final thing is going to weigh, but uh, quite impressive, isn't it? If you want to get this for yourself, I've put a link down here in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.